Hello, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening. Hello, Ana Maria, Glenda, and Soveda. Those are the ones that I see right now. How are you? Hello. 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 Okay. So, how are you today? Very good. Thank you. And you, teacher? Um, good. A little bit sick, but I will survive. <laughs> okay. Okay. More students are coming right now. I see Gladys and Veronica. Isaac. So we're going to give just a couple of minutes for them to join us. And, um, and then we start with today's lesson. All right, so it's 8.02. Miguel Navarro, Sonia, eh, Roberto, Jose. Let me check who else yeah. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. All right. Okay, so we are enough now. We can get started. Um, hold on, my camera went off. Okay. Um, check. Can you see me now? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So you can see me and you can hear me. And I see a familiar face. Huh. <laughs> Okay, so uh, as I was telling you, uh, welcome everybody to the first um, class on this pre-intermediate uh, module one. And my name is Freddy Marquez. I am going to be with you throughout this module. It's going to be uh, a whole month, right? So we are going to be finishing around February 17th, if I'm not mistaken. And um, well, I hope that we can practice and we can learn a lot. And uh, it's a pleasure for me to be with you. So um, let's get started. Some 
basic information that I have to remind you, right, as part of the rules. First of all, you have to make sure that your name is complete in the in the description, right? So you have to make sure that your name is complete. Uh, if well, if it's necessary, I will I will switch languages, okay? Um, no es que no hable español, sino que solo cuando sea necesario vamos a hacer una peque un pequeño switch ahí. Eh, so, algunos requisitos básicos que ustedes ya saben, los que han venido ¿verdad? en los módulos anteriores, es de asegurarse de tener su nombre eh, completo. Y para cambiarlo solamente tienen que dar clic a los tres puntos que aparecen en la parte superior derecha. Que la cámara se me apaga. Ok, en la parte superior derecha y ahí está la opción de cambiar el nombre. Um, so, that is something important, right? Uh, if you have camera, so you turn it on. Uh, and you participate as much as possible in every single session. We have the class from 8 p.m. till 9 p.m. And... Um, we are going to be checking and I'm going to be helping you in anything possible. We're going to be checking the progress that you have on the platform. Okay. That is something really, really important. Uh, the class is very important, but the platform is important too. So um, you have to balance, right? Be in class, but also work on the exercises that you have online. Uh, if you have any problem with the platform, you have to let me know or let somebody at Inglés Corporativo know, right, that you have that inconvenience so that they can help you. Uh, um, what else? What else? Who is new in this in this uh, in this class? Quién es nuevo o nueva en esta clase? Aparte de de mi persona. Mi teacher. Sobeida, ok. Yeah. Mi teacher. Teresa, ok. Very good. Mi um, teacher. Me too. Milena, ok. No problem. Ok, eh, bueno, supongo que ya les dieron un poquito de información o de inducción sobre la plataforma, ¿verdad? Que tienen que ir uh, trabajando los ejercicios de cada... Eh, tema o cada unidad que se va desarrollando eh, y al terminar el módulo pues obviamente eso les ayuda a poder avanzar al siguiente uh, si tienen alguna dificultad con la plataforma se comunican con la persona que los ha contactado en inglés corporativo o también me pueden consultar a mí para ver si yo puedo ayudarles eh, porque es muy importante que lleguen a la par las clases con la plataforma también eh, que no vayan acumulando todo hasta el último, la última semana, la última clase. Eh, I'm going to show you that later. Okay, I'm going to show you that later. Something that is very important for me is that you tell me when something is not clear, when you have a question, um, when something is difficult to understand, please let me know. Okay, uh, me hacen saber cuando tienen alguna dificultad, pregunta, duda o algo no está muy claro. Um, so that I can help you. That is very important for me, communication. All right. So um, basically just that, I think that's all. And I am going to start by showing the slide. Okay, here we go. Share. One second. Here it is. All right. So uh, this is the class number one. So welcome, as I was telling you before. And uh, that's my name, right? So you can call me teacher, teacher Freddy, as you feel comfortable. And um, one of the first activities that I like to do when I start my classes is to practice speaking, okay? So we're going to start with the first activity. And um, 
it goes like this something really really simple um I am going to be rolling numbers and asking the question uh, to different students, right? Um, and you just have to answer it. And the first question, do we have a volunteer? If you, if you want to volunteer or ask a question, uh, don't forget to raise your hand. Hay una mano virtual um, en Zoom que pueden utilizar para participar o activar el micrófono y piden la palabra o levantan su mano cuando, cuando estén con la cámara encendida. Ok. Eh, I see Milena right now. And I see Manuel as well. Ok. Isaac has the camera on. Ok. Teresa Elizabeth, the first volunteer. So, Teresa, the question for you is the number four. Mention two things that you like. Hello. Eh... I like um, I like eat uh -huh. and eating. I like um, watching TV. Watching TV. Okay, eating and watching TV. Very good. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, another volunteer. Thank you. Uh, you can give claps right with the reactions for. The participants, that's another option here in Zoom. Excellent. Jose Manuel. Okay, and then Soveda. So we go with Jose Manuel. The question for you is the number seven. What's your favorite color? My favorite color, uh, blue. Is blue. Okay, it's excellent. Blue. Uh, thank you so much. Class for Manuel. We continue with Soveda. Okay. Sorry, the question for you is number one. What's your favorite book or movie? My favorite book is Yo Antes de Ti. Ah, and maybe for the you. movie. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. And the why movie. Do you like, why do you like the book? What do why? you like? Why? Me gusta. ¿Por qué? Why? Ah. Because it's very romantic uh, and interesting. Okay, romantic and interesting. Yes. yes. Okay. And the movie, uh -huh. um, for the moment, is Spider-Man. Spider-Man, uh, No Way Home. Es correcto. <laughs> okay, that's right. Yeah, I watched the movie last week. Uh, yeah, it's really good. Very interesting. Okay, yes. <laughs> Let's continue. Thank you so much, Saveda. Class for her, please. We continue with the next volunteer. Please, let me check. Kevin. Kevin Hernandez, the question for you. Wait, that number four is already repeated. So we go with number eight. Do you prefer pizza or Nine. tacos? Hello, good evening, Kevin. Hello. Do you like, do you prefer pizza or tacos? Kevin, are you there? I think there is a problem with the microphone. Pizza. Or ah, pizza. You prefer pizza. Okay. Got it. Thank you so much. Class for Kevin. We continue with Alba and then Isaac. Okay. Alba, the question for you is number four. Number six. Do you like pets? No. <laughs> no. No, I really don't like it. Uh, it's it's okay if just I see them and no more. Because we never had a pet at home. Ah. So I thought that because of I respect bad experience or I respect or... them but not like it. Okay, okay. Interesting. Thank you so much, Alba. We continue You're with welcome. Isaac, uh, the question for you is, well, the favorite color, we already answered that question. Different question, number 10. Do you work or study? Hello? I think your microphone is off. You have to activate it. 
Hello, I am working in the Caja de Crédito de San Alejo. Okay, so you work at Caja de Crédito de San Alejo. Very good. Thank you so much, Isaac. Uh, do we have more volunteers for more questions? More volunteers, more volunteers. Excellent, Ana Maria. The question is number... No, number eight is already asked. Number five, mention two things that you don't like. I like my pet. No, that two things that you don't like. Ah, don't like. Uh -huh. Um I for example don't like, homework. Uh, I don't like um, uh, I, I cannot use traffic. Me la complicó. Ah, traffic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Traffic and uh, 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 uh. study. Ay, está compl está complicado. I don't know. Maybe uh, you don't like uh, homework. You don't like. I don't like the traffic. Your, your bus. Um, I don't know. You don't like. Um, a movie. Uh, oh, you don't like uh, the real music. I don't know. You don't have oh, money. No me gusta. Uh -huh. I don't like the COVID. You don't like the COVID. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. That's a good answer. Okay. Do we have one more volunteer? Thank you so much, Ana Maria. Um, um, are you read? Uh -huh. I don't like read reading ah okay excellent mm -hmm. you don't like reading okay so question number three is where do you live this question is going to be for everybody so uh where do you live isaac in my case uh i live in samuel okay A mí me pregunta. Yeah. Uh, where do you live? I live in Cesori. Cesori. Cesori, San Miguel. Okay. Miguel Navarro, where do you live? I live in Soyapango. Soya City. Okay. Excellent. Uh, yes, Soya City. Milena, where do you live? Hi, I live in San Salvador. San Salvador. Okay, Jose Manuel. I live in Santa Ana. You live in Santa Ana, wow. Yes. La Ciudad Morena, okay. Ana Maria, where do you live? I live in Aguachapan. Aguachapan, that's far. Aguachapan, I like termales de Santa Teresa in Aguachapan. Okay, Alba Aguilar, where do you live? I live in San Salvador. San Salvador. Elena Martinez, where do you live? I live in Ilopango. Ilopango. Okay. Uh, Cafe Santa Cruz is the name of the place there, right? It's really famous. Okay. Dinora Hernandez, where do you live? I live in San Salvador. San Salvador. Loida Sarabia? I live in San Miguel. San Miguel, the city of the carnival. Okay, Glenda Gabriela, good to see you, Loida. Hi, nice to meet you. I live in San Salvador. Okay, uh, can you repeat that, please? I live in? I live in San Salvador. San Salvador, okay. Veronica Esmeralda? I live in Soyapango. Soyapango, Gladys Duarte. I live in La Libertad, Ciudad Arce. Ciudad Arce, La Libertad. Okay, interesting. Roberto José. Cisnado. 
Uh, Roberto Jose, we cannot hear you. We continue with Victoria Bermúdez. Hi, good evening. I live in Ciudad Delgado. Ciudad Delgado. Excellent. Uh, Karen Heyman, is that the pronunciation? Heyman or Hyman? Heyman. Heyman. That's an interesting last name. Where do you live? I live in Santa Tecla. Santa Tecla. Okay. Excellent. We continue with uh, Teresa Elizabeth. I living in Soyapango. Soyapango. Kevin Hernandez. I live in Delgado City. Delgado City. Okay. Soveida, where do you live? I live in San Jacinto, San Salvador. San Jacinto. Okay. Interesting. And we are missing Sonia. I live in Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Okay. So we have two people from Santa Ana, around four people from Soyapango, some people from La Libertad. Interesting. One from Aguachapan, Samuel. We are three. Uh, so it's a mix of different places, right? Very good. And the majority of you are from San Salvador, of course. Uh, so here we are. So nice to meet you all. Now we know some information about each other. And let me check. Did we forget any question? No, I think that we already. Um, actually, yeah, we forgot the question number two, right? Like, yeah, what's your favorite hobby? So um, what we're going to do to practice a little more speaking uh, is that we are going to go to the breakout rooms and you are going to ask each other that question, right? So the question is, what's your favorite hobby? Or what are your favorite hobbies? You can mention different hobbies that you like. For example, my favorite hobbies are, I I'm talking about plural, right? My, I'm going to write my favorite hobbies. Hobbies are, uh, Taking pictures, traveling, and watching movies or series. I'm going to mention three hobbies. Okay, um, so that's an example, right? My favorite hobbies are, and you mentioned the actions or the hobbies using the verb in ing. Uh, for example, my favorite hobbies are cooking, uh, if you want to say, me gusta escuchar música, you say, I, I, my favorite hobbies are listening to music, watching movies. If it is only one, if it is singular, you say, my favorite hobby is, si solo van a hablar de uno, my favorite hobby is, and you say, for example, listening to music. You can be specific. You can say listening to uh, electronic music. Okay. If it is singular, if it is plural, you say my favorite hobbies are. So in the breakout rooms, in, los, uh, in las salas de los breakout rooms, ahí van a poder interactuar, and you will be asking each other that question. So you are going to be in small groups. Okay. Uh, it will be three or four people maximum, so you can ask each other the question. And then we come back to the class, okay? So what is the okay, question that, okay. you, that you are going to ask? ¿Cuál pregunta van a hacer? No question. What's your favorite hobby? Yes, that's correct. What's your favorite hobby? Excellent. So let me check. We have seven breakout rooms and you will have exactly three minutes. Three minutes to practice. Okay, one by one in English, right? Ready, set, and go. I said the invitation, please.
Uh, Jacqueline, Kevin, and Teresa, are you there? Hello. Hello. Um, Jackie, do you receive the invitation to go to the breakout room? What? Le llegó la invitación para ir al breakout room? No. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you have to accept the invitation now. Okay. Okay. Hobby. Yes. Hello, somebody asked for help. My favorite hobbies are spending time with my family, listen to music, and read read news. Reading news. Read, reading news. Ah. Did you call me for help? Ya no, teacher, ya no, gracias. Ah, okay, okay, no problem. <laughs> Hey. Nice. Ah, San Miguel versus Santa Ana here. Hey. Aguila and Faz, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> oh, okay, the volcanoes. Um, um, my uh, compañero is an English teacher. Class company. Class night. Um, class night and your February. Uh, hobby? How se hobby is the um play football. Playing yeah, playing soccer. Interesting. So his favorite hobby is playing football or playing soccer. Play soccer. Uh-huh. Uh, my favorite my favorite hobby is on the um tourist yard. And how se mention in English tourist yard? Tourist yard. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. pueblos mágicos. Like yeah, like like um, in my case, I say I usually say traveling uh, or discovering new places. You can say like touring, like going on tours. Like uh, that's another way to say it. Okay. Uh, I don't know how is, to is, say is it. My, my favorite uh, um, uh, hobby is um and tour and demos en el país, vea. Uh huh. Going on tours, yeah. Around, In, around the country. Excellent. Yeah. See you in a moment. Thank you. All right. Excellent. Now I see Elena Martinez. Hello. Uh, Isaac, Elena. And Manuel, those are the ones that I see. Victoria, welcome. Your microphone is off. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, hello. Sorry, sorry. Where do you live, Victoria? In Ciudad Delgado. Ciudad Delgado. And there was another student that was joining also. Uh, yes, but I don't remember the name. Elias. Elias? Ah, Elias, yeah, right. It's my my co work co worker. Co worker, yes. Ah, yes. Compañero de trabajo, that's correct. Yes, co worker. Yes, yes. Excellent. So, um, I think that Isaac and Lloyd are also co workers here. Do we have more co workers? Hay más compañeros de trabajo en este grupo? No. Yes. <laughs> Yes, teacher. Yes, Glenda, who is your yes. co-worker? Milena. Milena. Milena Kai. Ah, okay. Ya tienen quien les de copia, entonces. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. Manuel, who is your co-worker? Yes, um, Miguel Navarro. Miguel. Okay, Miguel and Manuel. Yes, compañeros. So you are the the dynamic duo. Now we're going to continue and uh, I'm going to share the screen one more time. So I hope that you answer the question, like what is your favorite hobby? Um, 
So in the chat, as we are going to be using the chat, we're going to be using the breakout rooms, we're going to be using reactions. The reactions, as you can see, right, we can clap, we can thumbs up, give thumbs up to someone, we can uh, react with a heart, right, when we love something, celebration, or raise your hand if you want to participate. And then you lower your hand. Um, so let's try to use the chat. So please write down in the chat one hobby that you like, one, one of your favorite hobbies, just one. Uh, for example, listening to music or cooking or exercising or uh, surfing the internet or taking pictures. So just one uh, favorite hobby, write it in the chat, please. So we have an idea if we have some similarities with other classmates. Okay. Vamos a ver. Watching TV shows, Loida, excellent. Dancing with my girlfriend, nice. Kevin, doing laundry, spending time with her family, Glenda. Ah, interesting that Victoria likes doing laundry. A lot of people don't like that. <laughs> I, well, I don't it, like it, but I had to do it. <laughs> ah, well, if it is with a washing machine, it's easier. Um, playing, I like to play softball. Okay, watch a movie on Netflix. Traveling. I like to cook. Okay, Alba, interesting. Okay, let's see. Visiting Magic Towns. Says Jose Manuel. Okay, Magic Towns in El Salvador, right? Different places. Playing soccer. Okay, Roberto likes playing soccer. Excellent. And we're going to read the other ones in a moment. Let me check. Watching TV for Elena. So let's move on with the next one. Okay, so let's check this out. Please call me Beth. So um, this is basically a short conversation. Uh, well, kind of short. Uh, going to church, says Kevin and Ana Maria playing with my daughter. Nice. Watching TV. Who said watching TV? Veronica. Okay, and Kevin likes going to church. Perfect. Now, we're going to um, listen, right? Listen, and then we're going to practice the conversation. Going to the beach, uh, Teresa Elizabeth. Sleeping, okay. Yeah, sleeping is good. Let me check. So listen and repeat, right? Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay. Uh, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Sanghi is here. Who's Sanghi? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where is she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. -A. That's the end of the conversation, right? Between David and Beth. So we are going to practice um, in purse, but first we are going to practice together, okay? So it's not necessary that you turn, you activate your microphone, just practice it alone, right? 
So listen and repeat. Hello, I am David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil, how about you? Repeat, right? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I'm from I, Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. I love Mexico. It's really, it's beautiful. really beautiful. Thanks. So is Thanks. Brazil. So. Okay. Oh, good. So he is here. Oh, good. So he is here. Who's Sang He? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where is she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's her last name again? Garcia? Oh, Garcia. I imagine the two people asking each other, right? Like, they don't know. Like, Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. G-A-R-Z-A. Okay, so that's, that's it. All right, so now we are going to practice. We are going to practice with two volunteers. So I need two volunteers to practice, and then we will practice in the breakout rooms. Me. So who are the volunteers? Elena and Manuel. Okay, perfect. Hello, I am David Garza. I am new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where is are you from, Beth? Brazil, how about you? I am from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Then, so it's Brazil. Oh, good. Soon he is here. How soon here? He's my classmate. We're, we're in the same math class. Where is G from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry. What's your last name again, Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? He, E, R, C, E. G, A. G, A, E, R, R, Z, Z, A. There you go. Excellent. Class for them, please. So good, that's what you're going to do in the breakout rooms. You are going to practice a conversation, but you are going to practice uh, playing the two roles. In the first conversation, Manuel is David and Milena is Beth. In the second conversation, Milena is David and Manuel is Beth. So you have to practice a conversation two times, okay? In this case, we are going to go to the breakout rooms. So you are going to practice in purse in purse, okay? Uh, we have 20 students right now, so perfect. We have exactly 10 breakout rooms. So Loida and Veronica, Elias, Miguel, Karen and Soveda, Maide and Victoria, Roberto and Teresa, Glenda and Kevin, Elena and Jose Manuel, Gladys with Isaac, Alba with Ana Maria, and Milena with Sonia del Transito. So for this kind of practice, for this kind of practice, what you can do is to take a screenshot. Lo que pueden hacer para este tipo de prácticas en los breakout rooms es tomar una captura de pantalla para que así puedan estar practicando y no se les olvide lo de la conversación. Okay. Um, so you can take a screenshot now. Are you ready? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Perfect. 
It's okay, Roberto. Thank you. I understand. El caso de Roberto no es posible ahorita, así que practicaría yo en lugar de él. Okay. So, ready, set, and go. You have five minutes for this practice, okay? Remember the two conversations, the two roles. One, two, and three. I said the invitation, please. Okay, my dad and Kevin, are you there? My dad, Kevin, can you hear me? Okay, Kevin is already in. My dad, Spinoza. Hello. Hello. Estaba tomando captura y en eso que me apareció. Oh, okay. But okay, do you see the invitation? Yes. Okay, can you accept the invitation now? No, me, no es, es que se quitó y, y le di ahora no. Ah, okay, wait a second. Uh -huh. I will move you to room five. Then. Creo que solo yo que. <laughs> no. Okay, ahora. Hello, Victoria, are you there? Hello. Okay. No, 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 my compañera. No, I think, wait a second. I think Veronica is here. Uh, okay, so I'm going to move her to the room number one. Okay, so Victoria, are you ready to practice? I will practice with you. Yes, you will practice with me. Okay, it's okay. a pleasure to me. <laughs> and to me too. So uh, you are uh, Beth, right? In the first conversation, so. Um, wait a second. I'm going to share the screen. Okay. I'm Beth. Hmm? Okay. Do you have to start? Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. So, um, hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but, but please call me Beth. Okay. Um, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Song He is here. Who's Song He? Uh, he is my classmate. We're, we are in the same math class. Where is she from? Uh, Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. -A. Okay. I'm Davey, right? Yeah, that's right. Hello. My, hello. I am Davey, David, David or David? Yes. David. David. David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Um, Brazil. Wait, where, what about you, or how about you? Uh, I'm from Me Mexico. 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 Uh, let me check. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. That's so, that, thanks. So it's Brazil. Oh, good. Song He is here. Who is Song He? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where is she from? She Korea. from 
Korea. Let's go and say hello. Uh, sorry, what's your last name again, Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A, -A. Garza. Excellent, congratulations. Okay, thank you. So this is like an international party, I think. So there are people from different countries. Um, and yes, normally the names, you don't change them. I mean, if your name is David, you say David, right? But um, some people like to make a little modification when they are in another country, for example, in the United States. They know that the majority of people don't, the majority of people from the United States, uh, they know the name David as David. So they say, no, my name is David, but you can call me David, right? Like, it's okay to say David. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. I mean, if that's, that's your name. You don't change the names uh, to another language. But some people do that. They, they for example, my name is, uh, you can say my name is Maria, but you can call me Mary because you are in the United States and you want people to feel normal, right, with your name. Okay. So Mary is normal for, for them. Okay. Uh, yeah. And we have time? Uh, right now we have just like 30 seconds. Ah, okay. Yeah. Do you have a question about pronunciation, yes. vocabulary? Uh -huh. No, just but um, I would like to ask you. Uh -huh. Ah, eh, puedo decir en español. Uh -huh. <laughs> Cuando estamos estamos hablando de los hobbies, es necesario usar ing para decir I watching. Uh, yeah, you have the two options. Puedo utilizar el ing o decir, por ejemplo, I like to cook. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh, pero, It's not necessary. Hola, pero cuando decimos la frase, my favorite hobby is to cook, no es tan común. Lo más común es que utilicen el ING. ING, ah, okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah. Or you say, Thank I you. like, you normally say ING. I like going shopping. I like dancing. Normally it's uh -huh. like that. Uh -huh. But it's possible uh, okay. to use the other option. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so the teacher is back. Did everybody finish the conversation? Yes. Yes. Yes? Okay, yes. so you can, you can use a reaction, yes. don't forget. Like, yeah, no problem. Okay, perfect. Uh, do you have questions about the pronunciation, about vocabulary? Teacher. No. Sonia uh, and Milena. The pronunciation the la eh, la forma contractada de we are en ese caso where is we are we are we are yeah we are okay. we are in the same yeah. class we are in the same okay. math class yeah we are yeah. um thank you teacher a uh, good question eh, milena era la misma pregunta teacher thank ah, you it was the same question okay no problem Thank you, Sobeida. Soy es Brasil. ¿Qué quiere decir con esa expresión? Brasil is beautiful too. Mm, okay. Uh -huh. También Brasil. So is Brazil. So, for example, I can tell you, hey, you are very intelligent. And you tell me, so are you. So are you. Mm, okay, uh -huh. thank you. Otra forma de decir eso también. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Okay, excellent. That you, you need to pay attention, right? Because this is the way that people use the language, right? Um, it's, it's important to, to see that. Okay, now we're going to move, move on to the next part. And um, if you have no questions, we continue with this. So checking for information. Um, you have to match the questions with the responses, okay? Um, so... The indication is very simple. You're going to match the number with the correct letter. For example, I'm sorry, what's your name again? What is the correct answer for that question? It's Elizabeth Silva. It's? Elis Elizabeth, Elizabeth Silva. Silva, correct. Number two. What Every, everyone you? calls me Beth. Everyone calls me Beth. 
Okay. And the last question, can you repeat it? Can you read the question number three? How do you spell your last name? Uh -huh. S. The letter A. S. I. I. L. L. B. B. A. A. Okay, perfect. So what we are going to do now, and that is going to be probably the last activity of today's class, is that we are going to practice with our personal information, okay? So let's practice one example of the questions exercise letter A. Um, I need two volunteers, please. Two volunteers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have Milena and who else? And Victoria. Okay, so uh, in your case, uh, Milena, you ask the question and Victoria, you answer with your personal information. Okay, question one. <laughs> Sorry, teacher, no entendí. Okay. Question number one. Ask question number one to Victoria. Exercise A. Yo I'm empiezo. sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah, you ask a question. Ah, okay. I'm sorry. What's your name again? It's Victoria Bermudez. Ah, question number two. What do people call you? Everyone's call me Vicky. Uh -huh. And the last question. How do you spell your last name? Ah, it's so long. Uh, B E R M U D E Z. Uh -huh. That's correct. Excellent. Very good. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to practice um, asking each other, okay, introducing yourself right, or you're having a little conversation, you can use these three questions to practice questions, spelling, right, and different expressions. So in the breakout rooms, you will have exactly five minutes maximum. And let me check how many people we have. We have 20, but one person is not participating. So we have 10 breakout rooms. Okay. So here we go. Take a screenshot if you want but remember that you're going to give your personal information in this case you ask for example uh, manuel and elena right so manuel asks the three questions elena answers the three questions answers the three questions and then elena is going to ask the three questions to manuel and manuel is going to answer each question right so it's going to be a conversation uh in both directions so ready Take a screenshot of the three questions. Okay, ready, set, and go. See you in a moment. Alba Aguila, are you there? Okay. Let's click on notification.
Okay, hey. Alma, hello. <laughs> hello. Okay, I was so... at the at the classroom number nine and now four. Yes, because in that group there were three people and the activities were two. So ah, you have okay. so you're going to practice with me. Okay. So ask me the but question. I, but I didn't take the, the screenshot. The screenshot. No problem. Uh -huh. I'm going to share the screen. Okay. I'm sorry. What's your la what's your name again? I'm sorry. It's Elizabeth. No, uh -huh. your name is Alba. Ah, uh, my name. Yeah. Um. What is your name again? It's Alba Aguilar. Okay. What do people call you? Everyone calls, calls me calls me Alba. Alba. How do you spell your last name? A G U I L A R. Excellent. Now you ask me the questions. Okay. I'm sorry, what's your name again? Wait a, wait a second, wait a second. I'm going okay. to bring somebody here because somebody's alone right now. So Kevin, Maybe my Kevin. partner, Ana Maria. No, Kevin is, is alone. Uh. Wait a second. So you can ask Kevin the questions. Kevin, are you there? Kevin Hernandez? Hello? Hello, hello. Okay, so uh, repeat the question number one, please. Uh, I'm sorry, what's your name again? It's La. Okay, Kevin? Kevin. Hola. Hello, hello. Creo que la señal. La señal está fallando. Okay, so we have a little problem. Wait a second. It's okay, Kevin, don't worry. I think another student has problems. <laughs> Glenda. Glenda, are you there? Hello? Glenda. Hello? Kevin? Creo que la señal me estaba fallando. Ah, okay. I have problems. <laughs> También problemas con la señal, ¿verdad? Okay, so, eh, Alba, can you please ask the questions to Kevin? I'm sorry, what's your name again? It's Kevin Hernandez. What do people call you? Can you please take a screenshot, uh, Alba? What do people call you? No, screenshot. Voy a tomar una captura. Everyone calls me Kevin. Uh -huh. Okay, excellent. Que yo tome una captura. Uh -huh. Ahorita. Yep. Ya. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, how do you spell your last name? So you have problems with the connection, uh, Glenda? Yes. I'm sorry about that. But don't worry, you're going to have more opportunities to practice. Um, okay. Yeah, tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> yes. no problem. All right, so um, the time is up. Did everybody get to finish the conversations? Please tell me or use a reaction if you could finish the conversations. Yes? Yes, we finished. Okay. Yes. Thank God. Yes. Yeah, some classmates have problems with the, with the internet connection, so that is an inconvenience, right? But um, 
that's all right. So we um, are going to finish with uh, today's session, right, with this uh, activity. But, but uh, I need you to uh, remember, right, that you need to work online, right, on the platform. So um, something that you have to do is to uh, access to that website. And that is, it looks like this, okay. I'm just going to show you here. Just this to finish. Here it is. So you gotta go and uh, start taking the curse, right? Here you go section by section. In this case, you go with, uh, please call me Beth, that is section one. You access that and then you will see the exercises that you have to complete. For example, you have the conversation, where are you from? Okay. And then um, you see uh, there's a video, here's the objective, another video, and the knowledge check. So you have a little exercise to complete. And that's it, right? So you have to go one by one as we are taking the classes, okay? Um, basically, that's all that I have to share with you today about the session number one. Uh, do you have any questions, comments, doubts? I am all ears, soy todo oídos. Sé que es lunes, que cuesta arrancar semana, pero sobrevivimos. Eh, en español voy a decir porque no, no, no me acuerdo mucho de inglés, vea. estamos aprendiendo, pero muy dinámica la clase, me ha gustado y pues espero seguir igual, vea. igual creo que los compañeros, muy, muy participativa y eso es bueno porque nos quita como un poquito así como el rompimiento de hielo, muy bueno. Ok, thank you Manuel, appreciate it, ese es el objetivo. Excelente la dinámica. Ok, Kevin, thank you. Excelente, excelente. Excellent class. I like the way of a practicing. Okay, I appreciate it. And that's important for me because I know what you like and what you don't like, right? So I can continue doing what is good for you. Okay, uh, thank you so much. Uh, it was nice to meet you uh, and to see some of you again. I hope to continue learning uh, and teaching because it, it's a, it's a double process, uh, cuando enseñamos también aprendemos, así que uh, thank you for your questions, for your participation, and for your motivation to learn, okay, even though it's extra, it's an extra effort, an extra work for you, but this is something really important, so keep it up, I'll see you tomorrow, have a good night, and take care of yourself, let me just take a screenshot quickly, Voy a tomar una captura para acordarme de la primera sesión. Ok. Smile. Say cheese. Ok. One. Two. And. Wait. Vamos a ponerle full screen. Ok. One, two, and three. Don't. Cheese. Ok. Excellent. Thank you so much. Take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.